the patient was with anxiety face uh, saying that uh, i have a fever and low platelet count i am having dengue i am dr sk sahu practicing at uh, apollo hospital 26 noida dengue is not dangerous if detected and treated decidedly and early stage nothing to fear you will have normal life because dengue is not a serious disease but seriousness is always there if you don't detect it early dengue is a vector born disease it is spread by mosquito the name of the mosquito is anopheles aedes and this vector born has a chain the chain is decided by three factors one is host one is a disease one is agent the agent is the virus the virus is called dengue virus this is of four types that is called dengue virus 1 2 3 4 this has to be carried from one person to other the person who carries it is called the host or the animal who carries it the host and the mosquito which bites it is the vector and when it infects again it inoculates the virus and you get the disease dengue dengue is just like any other common cold fever which is available in many parts of the world and usually possible in tropical and subtropical countries the dengue is a simple fever or it may be associated with complications when the simple fever dengue is there you get symptoms of fever myalgia rash body pains and not feeling well and a lot of pains in the body these symptoms are possible whenever there is a rising of temperature and after the temperature settles down the symptoms may come down when the temperature settles down the temperature settles down and the picture changes its course and when it changes its course people become very complacent you should not be complacent you should to take the help of the doctor to make a proper diagnosis at early date if you diagnose at early date treatment is supportive there is a no definitive antiviral treatment for the dengue the treatment is supportive what are the supportive systems you will give if there is a dehydration give iv fluids if there is a lack of nutrition give nutritive fluids if there is a problem of any other things associated with a dengue like bleeding hemorrhages or swelling then you have to look specifically diagnosis of the dengue is done on two ways one is detection of the viral directly that is by an antigel called ns1 antigen and it can be detected by retro rt pcr test which is not done on daily basis but ns1 is done on daily basis you can get the report in 40 to 45 minutes suppose the patient has come after few days in a seasonal outbreak of dengue you can go for indirect tests of the dengue by serological tests the serological tests are igg dengue and igm dengue igm dengue uh, serology of the dengue virus it shows that is a recent infection and uh, igg it shows of the previous exposure to dengue so need not worry for these things these are simple cases of dengue they do recover with the simple treatment of hydration paracetamol and a proper care and what things you have to care you have to care for any episodes of lowering of your platelet count the lowering of platelet count is associated with the bleeding episodes the what are the bleeding episodes you can experience in your daily life while brushing your teeth while passing your uh, stool and urine so you can get a blood in the stool you can get a blood in the urine there are also special associations with uh, the dengue if the uh, dengue happens in the uh, menstrual cycle period you get extensive bleeding if the dengue happens in pregnancy it may damage the uterus uh, growing kid because there is a vertical transmission from mother to the fetus uh, through the circulation so that you have to be take care and you have to be there on specialized care now coming to the platelet level you should not worry about the platelet if it drops platelet transfusion does not help even if it drops down below to 5000 10000 you should give supportive care and you should remember that blood has three components one is your wbc one is your platelet one is your rbc the half life of platelet platelet is 1 to 1/2 days the body born daily 
one point one lakhs more than one lakhs and uh, they also die every day one more than fifty thousand to one lakhs so whenever there is a no fever the platelet count should drop so the platelet count should drop means fever has not there they recover the platelet count recover slowly every day in a exponential way if proper hydration is there if proper air is maintained but if the hemodynamic status is not there complication is going to happen the patient gets a leaky fluids in inside the spaces of the body the spaces of the body are the abdomen you can present with ascites the spaces of the body are the pleura you can get it pleural effusion the spaces of the body are the subcutaneous tissues you may get with the swelling in these situations you have to be taking care of the fluid uh, status and you have to take care that this does not accumulate and special situations where the bp falls you, you come to a situation of shock syndrome that is called dengue shock syndrome these are serious conditions if there is a bleeding condition this is a serious condition if there is bleeding you have to supply blood blood transfusion so that there is no bleeding and you have to arrange the coagulation factors if there is any serious bleeding conditions if the platelets are very low you may go for a platelet transfusion but platelet transfusion does not help because low platelets gives a stimulation for the body to make the platelets if you are transfusing platelet this stimulus may be lost in the midway so better to reassure the patient that the platelets will come up nicely and uh, don't worry dengue is a simple disease as uh, good as any common cold and uh, this is a better bone and the best treatment is hydration nutrition and uh, paracetamol support if there is a complication stay in the hospital for better management treatment by specialist doctors i think this will help it out thank you